All right, today we are going to learn how to make the butterfly knot. So we're gonna take our rope and we are going to twist it and create a loop. So you're gonna hold, you're gonna put your thumb down here and you're gonna hold that loop. And then we are going to twist it one more time while holding the bottom and create a second loop. So it kind of looks like a figure eight. And then you're gonna take the top loop and you're gonna pull it down below and you're gonna put it back through this middle loop right here. So you're gonna go down and then you're gonna pull it through the middle loop and then you're gonna take both your load line and your tail line and you're gonna pull it, create tension, and there's your butterfly knot. All right, I'm gonna teach you another way to do the butterfly knot. So we're gonna take our rope, we're gonna take the tail line of our rope and we're gonna put it in the back, just like this. Make sure you have a good amount of tail as well that we can work with. We're gonna take it like this and we're gonna wrap it around to the front part of our fingers. We're gonna take this and we're gonna put it back around the middle part of our fingers, making sure we have three clean lines in between, just like that. And now we're gonna take our part that's on the end of our fingers, we're gonna pull it up and over both of the other two lines and back through the middle, just like that. And once we pull it through the middle, we'll take our lines and we'll put tension on them and you have a butterfly knot. All right, we're gonna learn how to do a figure eight stopper. So we're gonna take our rope and our tail end and we're gonna wrap it around our load end. So we're gonna go around once and then we're gonna take the tail end and we're gonna go from the back side up through the loop that we created, pull it tight and there's our figure eight stopper. All right, we're gonna learn how to do a figure eight on a bite. So we're gonna take our rope and we are going to measure out, it's normally about the width of your arm, and we're gonna take it and we're gonna create a figure eight just like we learned uh, a couple videos ago, uh, except for this time there's gonna be two sections of rope in it. So we're gonna take it and we're gonna create a bite at the top, this is called a bite, and we are going to loop it around the front of our rope back around and we're going to put it back up through the top just like we've been doing before and we're going to pull it tight. So this is our figure eight on a bike. Now there's a few things that uh, go into a well-dressed knot. So this one, see how the knot, they, all the ropes lay nicely next to each other. They don't look like this and they're not like tangled or anything like that. So if that happens and your knot looks like that, we're just going to pop it back down so it looks like this. Another thing is that we want to make sure that our fist can't fit through our bite. So this one is good. And then the third thing we want to look for is to make sure that our tail line is the width of, or is the length of our palm. So if we do that, we see mine is a little bit long. So I'm going to feed this through until that's about the right length. And then we're just going to feed the, our rope all the way back through our knot, just like this. And as we do that, we will get our knot to be properly dressed. So we feed it back through, we pull it through our tail line, tighten it back up again, and we're good to go. We're going to do our figure eight on a bed. So we're going to create our figure eight stopper, making sure that our tail line is the appropriate length of our hand. And then we're going to grab a second rope. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this rope and we're gonna follow it right back through our other one and back out towards our load line. So, we're gonna take it and we're gonna follow it through. We're gonna go through, we're gonna go around, making sure that we're keeping it nice and dressed so that we have less of an issue at the end. We're gonna go around again and we're gonna pull it back through just following our uh, red line that was our first one. And we're going to pull it tight, make sure it's properly dressed, making sure that our tail lines are the length of our hand, and we are good to go. All right, we're going to learn how to tie a figure eight follow through. So we're going to create a figure eight uh, stopper knot with a good amount of tail on the end of it. So we're going to create our figure eight just like that. See how much tail we have? And we're going to take that and we're going to create a bite. So we're going to make sure that our bite can't fit our fist through it. And now we're just going to take our tail end and we're going to follow it back through and out our load end. So to do that, we are just going to loop it around, making sure we keep hold of that bite. And we're going to go around and back through, just following our red rope. 
loop it around and back down. And now all we have to do is just make sure it's properly dressed. So we're going to make sure that none of our lines are lying on top of each other. And if they are, we'll just switch them around, pull it tight, and we are good to go. All right, we're going to want to tie a double figure eight. So we're going to take our rope like this, and we're going to tie a figure eight, but we're going to leave a big bite at the top so we want a good amount of rope. So we're going to loop it around. We're going to tie our figure eight, make sure that it's dressed properly. So we are going to tighten it up just like this. And now we're going to take we have our figure eight, and now we have this big bite at the top. We're gonna to take this bite and we're gonna loop it back through this top part of our rope and our knot that we created. So we're gonna go through the top two sections, creating, and then we're gonna keep hold of a rope right here. We're gonna take this part and we're gonna pull our two loops through that top part, just like that, and then we're gonna tighten it up, just like this. And that is a double figure eight. All right, we're gonna tie a clove hitch. So I'm gonna take my rope, and I'm gonna take my arm, we're gonna tie it around my arm, and I'm gonna take my tail end and my load end, I'm gonna put my load end in the back. I'm gonna take my tail end, and I'm gonna put it farther away on this side of my arm. And then I'm gonna take my tail end, and we're gonna cross back over, creating an X. And now I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna loop it back up the middle, and we're going to put it in between the two X's, just like this. And when we put it between the two X's and pull it tight, that is our clove hitch. Alright, we're going to learn how to tie a munter. So, this one is super easy. So we're going to take our rope and we're going to create a loop, just like that. And now we're going to take this top part and we're going to bring it back down on the same side, just pinching it a little bit, just like that, having our loose end. And that is it. All right, we are going to learn how to tie a water knot. And our water knot, we tie on webbing. This is webbing. So we're going to tie an overhand knot first. So we're going to take our rope. We're going to loop it around and back through our loop, just like that. And that's an overhand knot. And now we are going to make sure that our dressing for our water knots are a little bit different um, because it's on webbing. So we're going to make sure that it's the width of our palm this way. So I'm going to put it there, and that was pretty good. So now that we have our overhand knot, I'm going to take the other end of my webbing, and we're just going to follow it right back through. So we're going to take it, and we're going to follow it back through our webbing. So we're going to go on the inside. We're going to make sure we have a good amount of tail so we can get through the whole knot. We're going to go around it, and then we're going to go right back down through the middle. And when we're done, we're going to pull them tight, making sure that we don't have too much excess uh, on our tails, just like that, making sure that they all lay over each other nicely, and we're good to go. All right, we're going to learn how to tie a barrel knot. So we're going to take our rope. This one is 8 millimeter rope. So our rule at the end that we'll remember for 8 millimeter rope is that our tail isn't going to be longer than three finger lengths. So, we're going to take our rope and we're going to lay it over our hand just like this. Then we're going to take our other end of our rope and we're going to lay it the exact opposite way, just like that. And now we're going to take uh, one of our tails and we're going to wrap it around our finger. So we're going to go around our thumb, we're going to go around the end of the rope, and we're going to create an X just like that. And now we're going to take it and we're going to loop this tail back through where our thumb is, just like that and we're going to pull it tight, just like that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take this knot and we're going to put it in the same palm and we're going to do the same thing again but with the other tail. So we're going to take our knot, or we're going to take our rope, we're going to loop it around our thumb again, we're going to go around the back of the rope, we're going to create that X, come back around the back, and we're going to put it right back through where our thumb is, just like that. And we're going to pull it tight, and now you see that our X's are lined up the same way on both sides. That means we tied it right. Double check, make sure our tail end is the right length. And that is how you tie a barrel knot. Alright, we're going to learn how to tie a prosthetic. So we're going to take our rope, 
if you'll notice, this is a barrel knot that we have tied. And we're going to take our other piece of rope, and what we're going to do is we're going to loop it around three times around this rope. So we're going to take it starting on the outside, working our way in, and we're going to go one, two, three. And after three, we're going to pull up on it. And to dress this knot properly, we want to make sure that none of them are crossed over, um, that they all line up straight and smooth. And so we'll move our rope around a little bit, make sure that they look like that. And then what we'll do is we'll hook in our carabiner. So when we hook in our carabiner like this, and they're all lined up like that, you see how that looks. Then if we pull on it, it will create tension, just like that. All right, we're gonna learn how to tie a snap bowl in. So we're gonna take our rope, we're gonna take our tail line, and we're gonna put it on top of our load line like this. And we're gonna reach through, and we're gonna grab our load line right here, through this, and we're gonna pull it through. And now we're gonna take our tail line, and we're gonna put it through that loop we just created, looping it back around, grabbing it on like this, and then we're gonna snap it. And so this is a bow line, and now we're gonna do a backup. So doing a backup, we're gonna take this, and we're gonna follow this rope right here, all the way back through on our load line. So we're gonna take it, we're gonna loop it back through, and back up out the middle. Tighten it up, make sure it looks nice, make sure that it fits our width, and that is what it should look like at the end. All right, we're gonna learn how to tie the intertwined bowline. So it's basically the same thing as a snap bowline, but just with two ropes. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna measure out three arms lengths of rope and tie our knot out down here. So what we're gonna do, same thing as the snap bowline. We're gonna take our um, tail end and we're gonna loop it on top of our load end. But this time we're gonna pull through the bottom and grab this one right here. So we're going to pull it through and up, and then we're going to take our tail end and we're going to loop the whole thing through this loop. So we're going to pull all of it through. Once we pull all of it through, we're going to grab this end and the part we just did and we're going to snap it. And then we're just going to make sure that it's properly dressed. So make sure that all the rope lies on top of each other nicely. And there is your intertwined bowline. All right, we're gonna learn how to tie the intertwined bowline. So, we are going to take our rope and we're gonna measure three arms lengths out with just a single rope. And we're just gonna tie a regular bowline here. So we're gonna loop it around, reach through, grab it. We're gonna pull our whole tail line through our loop that we created. Just like this, we're gonna pull it all through. We're going to reach back around, grab it, snap it, just like that. And then now we are going to set this part aside for just a minute. And we are going to grab another piece of rope. Because since they're intertwined, that means we need more than one rope. So we're going to do the same thing. Measure out three arms lengths. Two, three. And we're going to tie a bowl in. So we're going to start, tie it. We're going to come through, grab it. Now before we loop this through, I'm going to pick up my other bowline that I made, and we're going to loop this end, let me grab my tail end, we're going to loop this tail end through our bowline that we created, through our loop, loop it through that one, and then we're going to loop it through this one. And now as we pull our line all the way through, doo -doo. We're going to reach back through, we're going to grab our ropes, we're going to snap it, just like that, and now we have two intertwined bowlines. Alright, we are going to learn how to do the self-rescue bowline. So we're going to take our rope and we are going to loop it around ourselves like this. Now we're going to take the load end of the rope and we're going to hold it out here and this is going to be our tail end. So we are going to take it. And we are going to loop it around our load end and back up through, just like that. And then we're going to take the tail end and loop it around our load end. And then we're just going to pull it right back through, pull our hand out, snap it, and that is your self-rescue bowline.